Away from my sick! Yo! Have a look at this! That's a whopper! That's an absolutely massive mud snake! Have a look at this sucker! Oh my goodness! So right now, we're heading to an area to look for a mud snake, specifically the western mud snake. This is a snake that I've been searching for since we started the channel, actually. Now, I've only ever seen one, and it was years ago, I think I was seven or eight, and we found a little tiny baby one, and it was really, really cool. And I haven't seen one since, but I think the other day, I found a great area to find mud snakes. Now, they're not an endangered species by any means, and we've definitely found rarer snakes while on the channel. But, this is a special snake that I've been wanting to show you guys, so hopefully we'll find one today. Alright, well we've made it to our spot. we got a little bit of hiking to do before we get there. I'm going to need two things with me. Snake hook for any venom, and a rake. I'm going to try something new today. I've never tried catching a snake like this, but uh, it involves a rake, and who knows, it might work. Let's get going. Alright, here. Check that out. That is the perfect environment to find a mud snake. And uh, we're going to try a few different ways to uh, actually find them. But mud snakes are a pretty rare species. But I know for a fact that there's amphiumas and crawfish in here. So it's a pretty good area to check. What a beautiful area. Big cypress trees, lots of life, and a really good layer of leaves right along the water's edge. This is a perfect area to find mud snakes. All right, guys. We're trying something new. I've never tried to catch a mud snake like this, but along these kinds of pools of water that flow up when the river gets high, mud snakes will actually be found in leaf litter. And normally you'll see them out and about during the nighttime or during the rainy season, but since it's not raining right now, I've got to find them myself. Now, I heard you can rake up piles of leaves and uh, accidentally find a couple, so we're going to try that around this pool and who knows, maybe we might get one. With the weather showing threats of rain, I got to do as much searching as I can. The rain may be good for mud snakes, but the camera, not so much. Not to mention, this is completely experimental. I've never tried this up until now. After about 10 minutes of raking leaves, a very strange little swamp creature came rolling out of the water. Wait, what's that? That's a baby amphiuma. Yo, that's the smallest one I've ever caught. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Check this out. You a siren or it's an amphiuma? Have a look at this. Baby, baby amphiuma. Look at that, that's the smallest one I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Now this actually grows to be an extremely large salamander. These guys can grow up to four feet in length. He looks like a little eel there, but he's got little tiny legs. This is definitely the smallest one I caught, and this is why raking like this is actually a good way to find baby mud snakes. Now baby mud snakes will live under these leaves, and the adults will normally burrow or uh, steal crawfish dens, a crawfish would be a predator to a baby amphiuma or a baby mud snake. So what they do is they bury in these leaves and check that out. And we would find a baby mud snake exactly like we found this guy. I haven't had any luck with the rake yet, but that's seriously cool. This is actually one of the first things I've found with this technique. I've never actually done this before. This is my first time trying it. And there we go. That is the smallest amphiuma I think I've ever caught. Look at that. That's wild. And this is the only thing that the mud snake eats. Isn't that wild? And it's crazy to think that this little salamander can get about four feet long. Wild stuff. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put this little guy back in the leaves and uh, keep looking for a mud snake. So what I think we're going to do, I've already raked this entire half. I think we're just going to go back to walking uh, and looking before the rain comes because uh, mud snakes will be moving around. Might be able to find a bigger one that way and might be able to find one under a log. Who knows? Lots of waterways around here are really muddy, and you can fall straight through the mud, even up to your neck, which can be pretty dangerous. Luckily enough, this entire area has a clay bottom, so it holds water and I can't sink. This is actually even better, because mud snakes will live in areas like this year round. And just as it started to rain, I finally saw our snake. No way for mud snake! Yo! Have a look at this! That's a whopper! That's an absolutely massive mud snake! You know, I gotta get over to you. Uh, oh 
Oh my goodness. Yes! That is a mud snake right there. Yeah! All right. Have a look at that snake. This is probably one of the most gorgeous snakes that I've ever gotten a chance to see. Whew. Look at him. I knew for a fact that there had to be some in this area. The weather's too perfect, and this area is far too perfect for there not to have been a mud snake in this area. Have a look at that. This is why it's nicknamed the red-bellied mud snake. It's got a bright red belly, and this is, without a doubt, one of my favorite snake species. I've been looking for one of these guys for a long time now. Now what's unique about these snakes, and we've talked about this plenty of times before, they only eat amphiumas. I say only, it's similar to the rainbow snake in the fact that they're considered to only eat eels. These guys are very, very picky. They mostly eat amphiumas. Occasionally they'll take a tadpole or some other little amphibian, but they mostly just eat amphiumas. Have a look at that. He was out in the open, cruising amongst the cypress stuff, and uh, his head was right next to a hole. I was really nervous he was gonna get away from me right there. Now what's really cool is, these guys just will not bite. They're a non-venomous species and they won't bite, and, but they've got a tail, a very sharp tail. It's got a little pointed spine on the end. And when I picked him up, he started stabbing me with it. That's a natural defense that these guys have when anybody messes with them. And it's also used to pin down amphiumas. They use that sharp tail to pin their prey down to where they can catch them. Because as you can imagine, catching an amphiuma in this is pretty difficult. Now this exact species of mud snake is what's called a western mud snake. Now many people believe that this is the much prettier of the two. There's the eastern mud snake as well as the western. And the eastern, these bands kind of come over the top a little bit, but they're not nearly as bright and they don't have normally that solid black top. Normally it's gonna be a brown or a slightly dingier color, but they're just as gorgeous. And there's also a version of this snake that has white scales on the belly, which is a really cool thing to see. But it's not the rarest thing to see. A few people this year have actually found white-bellied mud snakes, and one of the ones that I saw this year dead on the road actually was a white-bellied mud snake, which was an absolute shame. Mud snakes are a really fascinating species, one that I love to see out here, and uh, this is only the second one that I've ever seen. The other one that I found was a little baby right along the water's edge under a big log. Flipped it, and it was a little tiny baby. But this one, this one is a pretty decent sized adult, and he looks healthy really nice and fat. Obviously been getting some amphiumas in here and that's uh, a pretty good area for them. Now I'd love to do research on this species in the future. But right now I've kind of got my hands full with everything else I've got going on. So uh, I'm not going to be keeping this guy or holding on to him for any reason. But I'm sure in the future that we'll conduct some more really cool research specifically on mud snakes. But for now we're just going to go ahead and let this guy go. Alright what I'm going to do is walk back over there and uh, I'm going to go let him go because he's probably got a burrow over there. Alright time to release the mud snake. Well guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for future videos. That's all for now. We will see you guys on the next one.